Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Tuttle and today I'm going to review one of my favorite plugins in the Unreal Engine. I strongly recommend this one, especially if you're starting out or if you want to work on like anything that has uh, a lot of outdoor settings. This is probably one of the best tools for a great value. It is $29.99. It's Ultra Dynamic Sky. Uh, you can find it in the marketplace. I'll provide a link below in the description. Compare that to True Sky, which is about a little over four times the price. It is well worth the money. I mean, it's a I prefer it over True Sky to be honest with you. Um, it's a lot easier to handle, and it's just so, it just works very well. And I'm going to walk you through it here. So I'm gonna it's a blueprint. So you just all you got to do is just drag it in, and you know the settings are pretty simple time of day so you just gotta think in military time so 2250 for night uh, 1750 for like sunset and then maybe like 650 for you know the dawn and then you can kinda cover you know control how much clouds you can get with cloud coverage and all of that but there's something called cloud wisps um, yeah so you can just adjust that I mean, there's just so much adjustments and just so much uh, customizable ways to mess around with this, and it, it's incredible. This is this should not be thirty dollars. I'm this is incredibly, incredibly worth the price. You, I love this little engine, and just the more tools I find about it, the more I really, really, really thought this was. You know, and it's also on sale too. So the more I really um just think this was well worth it, and. Just this is a tool that I just can't can't recommend enough. So let's just go to let's go to 2250. Well, actually 1750. So I can adjust the sun len, um, by like let's just um, go through. You can control the speed of the clouds easily. Uh, you, there's a tool I like call Simulate Real Sun, which you know works with the lighting much easier. I just always click that. And you can do like sunlight energy, so um, the angle of the moon. You can increase the size of the moon if you want. So let's begin here. There's one I call. You can also control the high fog, just like that. Um, let's actually let's turn that on. Make sure that there's bloom. You probably don't see it now, but let's just turn down the cloud coverage and I'll show you. So. So let's just go to height fog. Here, and I'm just going to turn that. Oh no, that should be okay. So yeah, basically, uh, just move that there. There we go. So that just kind of gives you some stuff to play around with. You kind of see the little shaft with the lights here, with the cloud cover. Uh, let's go to night. So let's just do 22 right there. And I'm going to turn down the cloud cover. You can also add Aurora Borealis here and control them. Pretty cool. And also, you can do uh, the lines. I, like I said, I just there's just so much options to play around with. This is this is one of my favorite tools in Unreal. Bar none, you know, bar none. There's great stuff like um, Quixel, which I'll go through in another video. But this is definitely one to get, and there's how many options you get to work with. Uh, so we're just going to return this back to the daytime. There we go, and there's a weather option. So it's pretty simple. You can add rain. So let's go to weather, and you can select your preset rain, and they'll give you like uh, just kind of what to work with. Like the, you can adjust the snow. You can uh, so we'll just go to like a blizzard. <laughs> just imagine that. Just imagine what you could do. How many options you get. This is uh, like I get really excited. And also, let's go to the thunderstorm. And I'm going to show you at night, so this thing will show you like why I love this. So let's go find it. Well, let's go here, 2350. 
Oh, you see that? Right there. You see the flash of lightning? You see the flash of lightning? Just right there, right there. It has lightning. It's just amazing. I love it. This is this is just one of the best tools ever. I really can't stress it enough. It is well worth it if you were playing and working on Unreal. Um, they also have another thing too. They have a spline system for rain. So we'll go and click on that and kind of see it there. You see the little rain. So let's say you have an object. So let's just do a zoom in. Uh, like you have an object, like if you have like a house or like a little structure and you want to add a little detail, you can do that with this little spline system here. It is just well worth it. Just, I can't praise this enough. This is definitely worth the price. I strongly recommend it for, uh, you know, if you're working with outdoor scenes or anything in particular. Definitely get this tool. It's Ultra Dynamic Sky. I'll provide a link down below again. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any other tools that you like to wondering about, I can go look for them. I have quite a few uh, plugins to play around with as well. Uh, my next video will be dealing with landscape editing. So be sure to look out for that video. Thank you for watching.